Hey everyone, I'm Tina with Tina's Inspired Art. I am so excited that you're here today. Thank you so much, first of all. And I also wanted to apologize right up front and let you know that I am sorry I have not been on my channel producing the different artworks that I've shared in the past. And the reason why is because I have been so involved and so busy working on something very special that's near and dear to my heart. And that is I have been creating the Botanical Dutch Pour Technique course. I created and developed this technique and I decided to go forward with producing a course with all of my tips and tricks that I don't actually share on this channel. I am so tickled and so honored and pleased. I've partnered with Rinska Downa and Molly with Molly's Artistry and they have invited me to produce my course on their platform. And so I am just so excited about sharing this with you. I have the big announcement coming down the pike in one week and the announcement to share when it will be available on the Smart Art Course platform. So be looking out for that. I have so much coming to my channel in the future. Um, just a little sneak peek. I have been working on some watercolors, working with color pencils, pastels, and um, a little bit of ink. So I've got my studio set up in different stations actually and i'm going to be sharing with you those little tips and tricks that i have found that have really helped my studio to be a lot more organized in the different areas of different mediums i like to work with so that'll be coming down the pike in another video now we're going to get into today's pour with a beautiful botanical dutch pour technique i've got a whole new design and color palette that i'm going to be doing on my canvas today. I'm super excited just to get back into my studio and just release and feel good about today's pour. So today, let's just get right into the pour. Let's feel free. Let's um, just create something, uh, of course, botanical. It's near and dear to my heart. We're gonna just do a little bit of playing today, something different and I hope you'll enjoy it. So leave me comments, like my video, let me know how excited you are for my course. Let me know if you're gonna take my course. I'd love to hear from you. I wanna take it to the next level. I wanna share what I know with you guys so you can feel really proud about what you're producing and let's just have some fun guys, okay? So I'll see you in my video coming up and we're gonna be creative today, okay? Love y'all. Thank you so much. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be doing a beautiful botanical Dutch pour today. I am just so thrilled to be back in my studio doing a painting for you. Um, so today's pour is going to be on this round 24 inch canvas. And so I typically like to draw my images on my sketch pad. This is a sketch pad that I, I have many of them, but this is just one of the many that I have been just, you know, doodling in with various just doodles of different art that I'm just drawing and practicing um, but I think for today I am just going to do something similar because it's a nice round canvas it's gonna be a botanical design and then once it's dried I think I'm gonna paint a nice uh, uh, like a larger hummingbird I've been into these hummingbirds lately because we've got hummingbird feeders out in our backyard beyond the pool area. And I just so enjoy seeing all of them just gathering around, drinking up that nectar that we make homemade for them. And so I've just been really enjoying hummingbirds. And 
how they just flutter in the air and how beautiful they are in nature. And I think um, this particular painting, once I figure out what this design is going to look like, once it's dried, I am going to paint a very large hummingbird in the center of this canvas. So I think it'll come out pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna show you how I actually draw this um, on my canvas and just gives me, the way I draw it on the canvas, it gives me that idea of, of, you know, that vision that I'm looking at on my canvas as I'm laying out my fluid art too. So if I can draw it, it's in my brain and then I can actually reference my sketch pad later on after, you know, I've poured my base layer, I can at least reference back and kind of draw out my design and hopefully it comes out the way I am envisioning it. But what I did earlier is I was thinking about my design. I really want this circle of my vines and leaves to be pretty much in a circle. And I was envisioning how much space I would need for my leaves to actually have the room to blow um, on my canvas. So what I did was I took this paintbrush and I just made a couple of marks on my paintbrush indicating about if I laid that mark on my canvas, how far in I would want that first line like to start. And so I kind of went around my canvas making that mark right here. And I put a, just a little pencil mark so it would indicate where about I would want that circle to end up. So I just keep it along there. Maybe make one right here so I can connect connect the dots to ensure my circle will be nice and round. And then once I have that base layer on my canvas, I can also there again, use my paint bottles, my squeeze bottles, and actually use this as a guide and I can, you know, make that circle a little bit better and more even as we start out our design. So this is purely one way you can do it. There's probably many ways people can do something like this to make a nice little circle, but with fluid art, it is so fluid. And I wanted to just give a guide for you guys how I think about doing something like this. You could even take this little nail or something and put a string and outline it like that with a pencil and just go around. It's on my Lazy Susan here and it can just help you and guide you with a nice circle. And so here we have kind of that outline that I'm thinking. Nice circle there. And then based off of my circle here, I'm gonna start putting kind of like these leaves. So I'll put a little stem here and a stem and just gradually put stems here and there indicating where I want my leaves to go. And it's basically we're creating almost like a wreath around in this form. And so this will be looking like a wreath. As we're blowing it out, we can just keep our canvas going in the same direction. And I think it's gonna come out pretty cool. I've not done anything like this before. 
So I hope it'll look really good. And then once it's dried, I will draw and then paint a hummingbird right in the middle of this. I think it's gonna look really pretty. So if we reference back to my design on my canvas, that's just kind of how we're going to do this one. So yeah, I'm excited about it. I am going to use my PPG house interior paint for my base. It's the semi-gloss white and my color palette is going to be um, in this order. This is burnt umber. This is a color that I kind of made up. It's like a coral. It's a mixture with um, some pinks and reds and it, it's purely a mixture that I made and it came out to be a real pretty coral color and I thought that would look really good in there and give it some nice spring vibe. This one is an iridescent green blue. This is an iridescent lime green. A shocking lime green. And I'm gonna top it off with some copper. It's been a while since I used any copper, but I think copper with all of these colors are gonna look really good today. So I am so excited about doing this pour. I'm just giddy inside because I've not done a pour in a very long time since I was creating the Botanical Dutch Pour course that I just shared with you. So I am super excited. So I'm gonna say, let's just get right into it. I'll lay my base down. I'll put you on fast forward for this portion of it, but I'll lay that base down. I will pop my bubbles and then we'll come back and we'll start designing on our canvas. So ready to get started. So our first color is going to be this burnt umber and yeah I think this is going to be quite nice and again as we talked earlier I'm going to use this little guide to help me. If I just put it kind of right above that edge and I'm gonna put a couple of dots here and there just to give me a nice little guide as I'm drawing my circle. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it definitely will give me that guide that I'm looking for. Switch hands. Sometimes it's more difficult to know when you're working around a canvas to know where your guide is. So I'm going to take it like this. And this kind of works out good like this. Let's just circle around. I don't mind if it's got more lines than just the one. There. So a nice circle like that. And I'll probably start making my leaves as we go to. So I'm actually going to just kind of draw these leaves on here. don't have to be exactly spaced out the same, but I kind of want them as an, at an angle. I'll 
looking like a wreath. So out like that. And then I'm going to draw a few on the inside as well. Just a few. How does that look? If I, I might put just another one over here. And then I might put another one right here. Just a little one here. Alright. <laughs> that a crazy design. I think it's going to look good. I'm excited. Something different. Now I'm going to come in with this kind of coral color. I've never tried this combination before either. Having these leaves out like this helps when I'm blowing out my design. It'll give me a lot more dimension as I'm blowing in the direction that I want those leaves to blow out. My next color we're gonna go with is the green iridescent. And I think with this color, I am in fact going to go over the entire design where when I used the last color, I didn't do this circle. Your secondary colors all look good together. And that's how I kind of choose my colors for each of my pores. And you want to make sure that you don't choose colors to lay on top of each other that's going to achieve a muddy look. And so I keep all of that in mind as I'm choosing my colors. So my next color is going to be this lime green. It does have a little bit of iridescent in it as well. And this is really gonna add some brightness. And I'm thinking that I'm going to add this color just sporadically, not entirely everywhere. So just here and there, just to bring it all together as you're blowing it, but you don't have to add your colors everywhere throughout your painting. Just give it some balance and then it comes together a whole lot nicer if you do not choose to use it everywhere. Just balance it out. Make sure that when you blow it out, you're gonna see those colors but if you don't want to see it predominantly, just give it accents here and there. Now my next color is going to be this lime green. And this lime green here really gives my painting some nice brightness and some earthy, natural looks to them. That's why I love to use this one. And I plan on using, using this color everywhere in the painting. I kind of like just drawing these leaves or these leaf shapes right on the canvas because it really gives me a nice guide for when I'm blowing out my design. So it, it, like this, it's looking really cool like this. Okay, so our last color we're going to be using is the copper. And so I'm going to put the copper everywhere. I think I am going to do one more color in this scenario and I'm going to bring in a little bit of this, it's a blue iridescent. All right, now it's time to have some more fun. I'm gonna start right in here and I'm gonna just work my way around. If I need to turn the canvas, I can. Just a little bit around that circle. I wasn't sure if I'd have enough, but since I do have enough, I just went ahead with it. All right, I think, I think I'm ready to blow this out Let's cross our fingers that it's going to look really good. 
and we'll go from there guys so let's get right into it guys let me take a look at this and I'm gonna rotate it just to see if I need to do anything more as far as blowing out areas but it turned out to be a beautiful wreath look at how pretty the colors look really nice I tried to end it up really nicely right here where it's nice right you know, like where it comes together. It's a little bit going over the edge right there, but I think it looks so pretty. I'm super excited. Yes. Oh yeah, it's really looking nice. There might be a couple areas where I can use my straw to blow out like right there there's just a little area that maybe I can use my straw to blow out just to round it out a little maybe have to use the end of my paintbrush to kind of grab that and kind of bring it together Make it rounder. Yeah, that looks so much better. Wow. <laughs> this is the first one that I'm doing like this, and I think she looks so pretty. I think I just want to wait and just make this one more just vines, where I have a nice vine going through the middle and the leaves connecting to that vine. And... I think I'll start just right here and I'll just make that vine go in a circle and it might be a little bit wavy here and there but I think it'll add to it. And I think what I'll do is just kind of go around my canvas so I know where my vine is going to come together for all of these and I stopped right here because I see that leaf kind of forming right there and it'll be like on top it'll look like it's on top of the actual vine so I'll pick it up again right here and carry it through So 
Sometimes it makes it look cool if it's like the leaf is on top of the vine. All right, so I have kind of my outline for where my vine is going to be. And now I'll just kind of drag in and form these leaves. be kind of multiple leaves. <laughs> and some of them already look, because I drew it in that way, already looks like the leaf itself. And I'm just enhancing it. I think that one right there, I'm gonna blow out a little. Kind of overlapping. This is the creative part of it, I think. Use your imagination. There's a leaf right there that's kind of outlining right here. And so, I want to drag it. Ooh, there's, it's good I dragged right there because I did see a bit of a clump. This one makes me think like a whole lot more of what the design should look like. So it just takes a bit of time. Looking really pretty. This area here. See if I can shape this one a little bit better. A little bit of a little, I don't know what you call that, <laughs> a little flare. I 
think um, at the end I'll have to decide how I want to hang this because right now you can hang it in any direction and it's going to look really pretty. Um, but if I add that hummingbird, then that will change. And you'll be able to hang it in a few directions, I would say, because the hummingbird can be going down. It, you know, it's just depending on how I paint it, um, will probably be determining how you would hang the painting. But either way, I think it'll look really pretty. I'm going to drag this down. to shape that one just a little bit different. This is so fun. I'm so happy today that I can do this painting for you all. some of these leaves I can just go down a little bit and just give a little indication of the leaf um, definition. It doesn't have to go all the way. Just gives it a little bit of shape. You know, if you look at like a monstera leaf, they have those little in and out of the, the leaves itself, and I just absolutely love that look. The monstera leaf is so beautiful. I just give a little bit of a different leaf look. I really like it. See how that just gave it just a little bit different look to it. great guys I'm so glad you're here with me today that you got to see this brand new painting that I've done and I think it really came out beautiful 
All right, guys, I think that's about it for today. I really appreciate you being here again. And going forward, I'll try to create a whole lot more paintings for you. And of course, we're going to get into other kinds of um, art mediums. And I'm really looking forward to being able to share all that with you. So yeah, give it a like if you like it, guys. Uh, share it if you'd like to do that. Still trying to grow on my channel. Still new to all of this, but I'm here to share it with you and give you all my tips and tricks. And once again, don't forget, um, sign up for my course, support me in that manner. And um, I'm going to share a whole lot more than what you've just seen today on my course that I have built for you. So um, yeah, just uh, go ahead and look for my announcement and be able to sign up. Uh, so again, thank you so much. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.